in, in England, you're sort of raised with Pride and Prejudice. It's sort of, you know... Jane Austen's like a... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's on the curriculum. It's yeah. in your blood. Yeah. You, will, you will be British. America. From Pride, Prejudice and Zombies, Lily James, Douglas Booth, hanging out with me on the couch. Thanks so much for dropping by. Thank, Thank you for you having, us. having us. Well, it's always, always a treat. You know, you do a lot of fighting in this movie, especially you, Lily. What kind of training did you have to go through, though? Well, it was very intense and long um, because it really is the girls that are right on the front line and yeah. being the crap out of the zombies. It's, it's a serious girl power movie. We wanted to do it justice, so I think individually we all trained for months and then we got together for this like ninja boot camp where we were. Ninja boot camp? Yeah. I feel like I would have And it was really... impressive. I mean, they yeah. were really impressive. So what were you doing this whole time, I was, in the, I was in the pub. <laughs> Having a martini. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, the, on the say, beach. Bingley, who you play in the movie, actually has it kind of nice, because he just kind of gets to shout at people. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, he's in yeah. the, yeah, he's in the, he, he kind of is in the army fighting the zombies, but he, he kind of, he, he's not actually the best fighter. He's a bit helpless. A little um, bit. But no, I just, I got, had the pleasure, and it's so refreshing for the girls to be doing all, like, all the action. All the work? Most of the action in this, you know? <laughs> yeah. It began with the Black Plague. Within weeks, the dead began to rise. Yeah, massive girl power, so yeah, um, yeah it was great. Do you yeah. remember any of your moves? People have been asking me this all, yeah. all day, but I'm wearing these incredible shoes, so unfortunately okay. I can't right. break it down right now, but otherwise I would have. But maybe if we put you in like a corset or something. But you something. won't mess with them on set. <laughs> like... Now, in addition to all the physical stuff, which sounds like she was doing most of the work and you got to just kind of chill. Yeah, um, pretty much. Were you fans of Pride and Prejudice before? Yeah, like you're... Being born in, in England, you're sort of raised with Pride and Prejudice. It's sort of, you know. Jane Austen's like a, yeah, yeah. It's, it's on the curriculum, it's it, in yeah. your blood. It you, is will, you will be in British. America, it too. Is, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. we watched that whole six hour long it's Colin great. Firth miniseries. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, and then and then obviously Seth wrote Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, and it became it's, it's not as big in England as it is here because I think here it was like the New York Times, one of New York Times bestseller, and mm -hmm. um, it was, you know a lot of my American friends are big fans of the book. So I think because it's such a success here, they decided to turn it into a film. Mm -hmm. But it's been around for a while. Like Natalie Portman, like David O. Russell, he he optioned the book and wrote the draft, mm. and Natalie Portman was going to play it, and then I think she got too old, but she's still producing it. Cause she still she loves it. Say that. Wait, what? No, but that was like six years ago. Yeah, yeah, a while ago. So did you guys brush up on your? You're not old. Wow. And what was it like playing off those zombies? They were pretty terrifying. I don't know. Like those are some scary zombies. Zombies are never like cute and cuddly. No, we never quite want to be in a room with a zombie. Those were pretty scary, weren't they? Yeah. But I, I had, I got ready in the zombie bus. There's like a zombie bus, and there was a non. I don't know why they put me in the zombie bus. I have no idea why they put you in the zombie. Me and Matt were in the what zombie bus. What was that like? <laughs> it just so I kind of saw them getting ready for hours every morning. So I was slightly less terrified. I saw them come in as like little, you know, you know, the sweet, sweet little, little old, sweet little old man. They come in the morning, and then by the end of it, he's like, I'm like, oh. and you'd be eating lunch up. opposite them, and half their face was melting into their food. And yeah, like... they put you off your lunch. Mm. So how prepared are you for the impending zombie apocalypse? Would you say? Pretty good. I'm yeah, down. pretty good. Yeah. As long as I got the Bennett sisters around me. Right. Yeah. Well, I did want to test your knowledge on how well you know your pride, prejudice, and zombies. And I wanted to have the two of you play against each other, if okay. that's okay. Are you ready? I'm ready to sure. So, Darcy's estate is called, is it A, Longmorn, B, Narnia, or C, Pemberley? I know the answer. His is. So you're playing against each other, so you can... Oh, okay, so I think it's... I, I think it's one, two, three. C. Longbow. Yeah. Oh, you're both wrong. It's Is Narnia. It's actually Narnia. It's Narnia. Narnia. Uh, <laughs> no, I wish Pemberley. it was. It's Pemberley. Pemberley. We got it right. C. Oh no. You Did I say right. Longbourn? Oh, what? I said C. <laughs> you got it right. I think, well, I think it's one point for you. Okay. According to the website Live Science, the safest country to be in during a zombie outbreak is A, the United States, B, Thailand, or C, Australia. Australia. Douglas. Here to answer. Really Australia, because it's got it's got its own ocean around yes. it. Although America's got more guns on this it, per person than anywhere else on the planet, so they're pretty well armed for it. You're both so, right. Yeah. It, it is Australia. 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 And it's actually, so this is based on 
geographic location, like you mentioned, mm. military connectedness and population density, also armed populace. Actually, oh, really? that was they one are? of the factors. So there, I mean, maybe per capita, I don't know. Yeah. There's a lot less people down there. Th My a... brother just moved to Australia, so I'm happy. In case there is a zombie apocalypse, he'll be fine. Exactly. One of my family. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right, the last one. Author Jane Austen never married, but she did once accept a proposal mm. But then went back on it. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. that. So how soon did she say to the guy, thanks, but no thanks? Was it A, one day, B, one week, or C, one month? I have a feeling it wouldn't be, it would be longer than a day. Did she find out something about him? Or I can't remember what it was, was it a month? I'm gonna go I week. did not read that far into Wikipedia, yeah. but next time yeah, I'll be I, I actually, I'm annoyed I can't remember this because I I'll did. go week, you go month. I'm gonna go month, yeah. Ooh. Stump both of you one day. Was it a day? One so she day. must have realized really fast that she didn't want to do it. Yeah, she was engaged to the rich brother of a friend, and then the second was like, eh, no, not wow, so much. Wow, how cool is that? Yeah, she was pretty. She was pretty. That's badass. even cooler that it was a day. She was like, Beautiful. yeah, I have to say yes because we have this woman have to say yes. But we're just like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by and sharing your, your zombie apocalypse with me. It was really fun. Yeah.